Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Conrad Stevens' Paranormal PI. This game is going absolutely crazy. I've been making so many videos on all of the updates because there is an update every single week. And today we got another one. And this update adds the best ghost in the entire game. It's the ghost related to the lipstick killer, which is by far the most terrifying and the darkest story in this game. And we're gonna uncover all of that for you today. I can tell you that this is by far my favorite ghost. I hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. And let's hop into the game. Let's go. Oh boy, here we are. So, uh, we. I am so excited for this ghost. Um, the lipstick killer is the ultimate ghost on this map we already have like one two in there one in here one there we have so many ghosts on this map it's absolutely crazy but the lipstick killer is the one i've been looking forward to for quite a while now so we're gonna grab all the equipment and then head over to the murder cave you heard that right there's a murder cave on this <laughs> lighthouse area where the lipstick killer used to i don't know if i can say this this early into the youtube video but this used to be where the lipstick killer would torture their victims before killing them which is pretty fricked up now according to the wiki um the the person doing the murders was hearing voices so potentially they could be possessed which could mean that this might be a demon which would be absolutely insane now back here so this map is absolutely massive by the way back here i think yes so this is what what i really love about this game is how well they integrate all the lore that they are like explaining in like the wiki or the ghosts you can actually find all those things on the map so when i first visited this map i was like no way i read all the lore oh god <laughs> I read all the lore about like the lipstick killer and other stuff. Can we actually find the cave of the lipstick killer? And yep, here it is. This is the cave of the lipstick killer. Now, I haven't really been here at all. I visited it a few times when we did previous investigations just to show it off. But I have like no idea how this is going to go. I have no idea what type of ghost this is. Maybe it's an intelligent, maybe it isn't. Let's start with just asking is there anyone if anyone here is here. Like to speak with Let's me. see. Is anyone here? Immediately. Rah! <laughs> that would be sick. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? I, I doubt we're going to get a response this early. Yeah, okay. That's fine. That's fine. I think we're going to place this stuff here for now. Maybe look around quickly if we can get some... Oh, just, I guess it's just pretty cold in this cave. Let's do a quick little sweep with the thermo, a quick little sleep, sweep with the EMF. And if we don't get anything then, uh, we will... What the hell is this? Wait. Oh, it's like a little back area. I was like, am I getting lost in the saucer? I think I am. Okay, so no thermo. At least we can't find it immediately. Which, this game is a very slow-paced game. So I don't expect us to immediately be bombarded with the lipstick killer. It's going to slowly ramp up over time and the killer is going to show itself. Uh, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is set up like a camera real quick so we can um, like get some passive evidence as well while we're looking for the other stuff. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, baby. I love this here. Now we have uh, way more tools now. We got our EMF, which is... A passive way of getting or figuring out where the ghost is. I think I'm going to place it right in the middle here. Because that's where I'm going to expect the ghost to walk through all the time. And then we're going to set up a camera. Which we're going to set up um, over here. Pointing to the, to the like big open area in the middle of the cave. So that if the ghost ever walks through here, we're going to get pictures. And we don't have to take that. That goes automatic. Um, and then we also have two additional like spirit box kind of items which are actually way better than the the regular spirit box because these are the upgraded versions let's see is there anyone is there here anything you'd like to tell me this thing tends to get way more responses if the ghost can respond which some ghosts can't respond um so let's see we, we probably should start off uh just quickly looking around see if we can like find any any potential areas where the ghost might be lingering there it is! Wait, we already found it? Look at that. That was really fast. Mm, these temp readings are Nice. Unusual. Okay, so it is over here. 
And we're gonna get the temperature Something readings. Can I get here. EMF as well? These temperature readings. Doesn't seem like there's Definitely. EMF, but maybe we can get a quick, quick little chat. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Was there a note on the ground? Wait, I didn't see the note. That was nice though. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? I was right on top of the ghost here just a moment ago, but maybe it already left. No? It's still just standing here. Wait, what the fuck? Excuse me? Why am I Why here? Why are you here? Why are you here? <laughs> yeah, this dev is here? going crazy. I don't want to leave because the ghost might run away. Uh, what is can your you name? If name? we can, so the name of the of the killer was Aaron, I think. Uh, I forgot how can many victims he had, but I think it was more than more than ten. More than ten total, which is kind of wild. Uh, okay, let's just quickly. I should not drop that in the middle of nowhere. I should keep my tools organized. We're gonna quickly grab the other spirit box. So let let's. Uh, let's grab this thing because this thing is usually it's way easier to get evidence with this okay so the ghost has left this area but that was still really good because uh, the more evidence you collect the more active the ghost becomes so we already got two pieces of evidence uh, so next up would be what would be great to get is to get the EMF so we can get it to become even more active and then stuff might really start hitting the fan especially considering how aggressive this ghost was in its life we might see something similar in the afterlife uh just gotta get some more evidence search for the note yeah i'm looking oh hi there easy peasy excuse me where'd you go there he is these lights nice. are uh, acting funny i should continue investigating Why is the thing there it is <laughs> EMF meter. let's it's go meter dude display. we're actually this speed running this is incredible okay uh, let's use the pair of boxes. Anyone, anyone here? here? So we got both like the EMF and the thermo, which is a great start. Now we just need to start collecting any audio we can find. Okay, none of that. Let's grab this tool then. I'm just going to drop this thing on the ground for now. Um, now it is time to... Oh. I was trying to use this. There we go. Uh, is there anyone... You like the current family living here? You like the current family living in the cave? I don't think that's a very... <laughs> Appropriate question to be asking here, Conrad, don't you, like you think? like the current family living here? Doesn't say anything. Conrad saying some unhinged questions. Let's use this bad boy. Do you know why I'm here? You know why I'm here? That's a good question. Damn, dude. The, the longer you stand still, the more chance you get to get a response. Something's got to happen, right? Is there Come anything on. you'd like to tell me? Can you tell me your name? Thank you so much, Nico. Jeez. That's a Teeth? suspicious <laughs> coincidence. Excuse me? Teeth? What is, how is that your name? <laughs> what, what, what's that supposed to mean? Why are you here? I'm confused. Well, we got a response, so that's big. I mean, it definitely feels like the game is moving to some kind of conclusion, right? Like, it feels like with this is update, there here it's like going to be pretty complete. Like, once we can release... Wow, that sounded like a response. That I, is very I was talking over it. I should have... I was not expecting any response for a while. What the hell? That was literally the first time we tried this device. Okay. Uh, good stuff. Like so you can me? replay these audio events in the in the office. So I guess we're gonna have to re-listen to that one and turn up the audio quite a bit. You'd like to tell me? <laughs> what a woman? Maybe it is not the lipstick killer, <laughs> or maybe the the demon that possessed the lipstick killer is was a woman, or what? I mean, it doesn't really here, matter. This is interesting. Other than me. Yeah, should we, should we look for a note? Let's see. Maybe there's going to be... Wait a minute, what's this? Hi there. This item is a valuable piece of information. This just spawned in. What the hell is this? Did they do some kind of summoning ritual down here? <laughs> what the hell is this? Is this the teeth? The teeth you were talking of? Look at those teeth. Well, nice. Okay, we got our first note. That's actually extremely significant. Uh, if we fill in that note later we'll be able to get even more activity out of this ghost but i think we're gonna give it a little bit more time 
Nothing. I'm supposed to be around these trees, I've been told. Wait, that's it! Wait, are you kidding me? We got both the notes? Oh, that's definitely... Feed her! Oh, wait a minute! It's all coming together. That's why he kidnapped people and brought them to the cave. And the torture wasn't just for because he was a sick psychopath, but because there was a demon. He was feeding a demon. Wait a minute! Dude, this story is way cooler and crazier than I thought. Okay, I think with that information, we need to fill in both of those notes. And I also really quickly want to listen to that audio event that we had just to see if we can make anything out. Uh, and then we head back in with way higher odds of getting activity because we're going to have way more notes on the ghost. I think that's a good idea. Here, let's quickly listen to the audio. Okay, let's see. So... Uh, Bar Harbor Lighthouse. This is gonna be- what is the name? Is it gonna be the Teeth Ghost? Razalka! Excuse me. That's the name of the ghost. Turn up that volume. Faccio amica mea. Faccio amica mea. Kamehameha? <laughs> Excuse me? Faccio amica mea. What does it say? I don't know what it says. Sounds like fucking Kamehameha, dude. Skibidi toilet. Faccio, amiga mea. I don't know. I think this is not English. Faccio, amiga mea. I don't. I, 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 it doesn't sound like anything I can make out. Okay, anyway. Uh, let's look at these two notes again. Uh, we have... So we have ever Look at this, dude! We got every single note on the lighthouse. That is crazy. Uh, you can find all this information in the in the museum as well, which is really cool. We're gonna select this. Evidence of demonic summoning. That's what I was saying. And then depiction of a ghost's appearance. I need... Wait a minute. Look at this. There is like... Look at the image. There's two faces on the image. There's a face over here and obviously at the back as well. It looks like there's two faces on there, or maybe I'm just seeing things. I think that maybe. Uh, anyway, let's let's head back in now with our additional information and see if we can find more activity. Oh boy, here we go again. So the two extra notes that we got are uh, evidence of a demonic summoning and depiction of a ghost's appearance. So, and then we have also added two extra notes because we had two slots left over. You can take up the six notes at a time. Uh, we took some notes on the ghost that's in the barn, just so maybe we'll get some activity if we walk by. Uh, let's go over there again. We're gonna just immediately set up all our stuff and then start the investigation in full. Finally. Okay, here we go. Set everything up. Now, uh, as people were telling me in the chat, but I didn't comment on yet, that Rosalka is apparently Russian and Slavic or something for mermaid, which might mean that it is a siren which, like a siren-like creature, which would explain a lot because, remember, the, the, oh, oh, that was the machine. Uh, the person doing the killings here was a person called Aaron. So uh, this the ghost here is not the, the killer. It's not the killer. It is the person who has been orchestrating the killer, um, the Rosalka. Let me grab these things is really interesting and it also might uh explain why the killer went after couples because uh they always he always went after couples that like uh, uh got into the lighthouse area and they were just like picnicking or something they would get like kidnapped and then killed which is pretty fucked up but hey it was it, it's it's history we had we got a report on it um so maybe there was some, I don't know, sirens are like, they try to lure you with like nice music and like beauty. And then when you get close, they're actually like, like terrifying monsters, right? Isn't that what the sirens in like real life mythology are like? Uh, and they're like supposedly responsible for many sh uh, shipwrecks and stuff. Like Ice Age. Wait, what? Uh, anyway. Before we can get any crazy evidence, we gotta start off with this basic stuff. We first gotta get EMF again, because we don't have anything, so the ghost is gonna be way quieter now. But once we start getting that evidence, it's gonna go wild. That explains the- That explains the two-face! You're so right! The face on the front is the- Oh! It's an EMF EMF! 
The face on the front is uh, the face of the of the siren. Come on, where do you go? And then the face on the back is the siren in its true form. Here we go. Let's go. These lights are acting funny. I should continue investigating. We're doing it. We're doing it. BMF we already got evidence. Can we also get the thermo? Is it seems like the thermo and the EMF are separated, which makes sense. But you're here, though, which means we could maybe ask, what is your Can name? You your your name? name would be the invaluable information. And I can't wait to get a photo of this ghost. I'm assuming it's a demon. Like, it's just, I mean, it's a siren, but a siren, like, it's going to be a demon type in this game. And the lore goes so much deeper than I expected when I, like, read about the, the lipstick killer. I was like, okay, so it's just, a, it's a serial killer, right? And we're going to investigate the serial killer's ghost. But no, no, no. They subvert our expectations and they give us an even more, uh, messed up scenario. Oh, here it is. Come on. Where did you go? Man, this thing has been killing it. <laughs> what the fuck? There. Okay, so you're right here. I can't get any thermo though, which is kind of annoying. I guess we're just going to ask, why, why are, are you here? here? Zolka is a demon by definition. No egg. Thank you for the 14, 15. Here? Let's go through a few questions. I don't think we're going to get anything, but might as well. Is this your home? Is this your home? Do you live in a cave, you weirdo? Okay, I don't think we're going to get a response on that, but that's okay. We should really be looking for uh, the thermo, which I think is going to be like in a separate spot. What's my favorite game to play? That's like, as someone who has spent more hours behind a computer screen than doing anything else in my entire life. Like, I have spent, like, 20,000 hours at a computer over the course of my life. I don't think I can definitively state a single game. That That is an impossible question. Like, for every little thing that I've done in my life, I've sat behind a computer. For my entire university degree, for every uh, little bit of free time I've had... Or my job of the last three years, I've spent like 12 hours a day behind a computer. Oh, hi there. Wait a minute. There it is again. Oh, he's in, always in this corner. Wait a minute. Maybe this is the corner. The corner mm, of the ghost. Nice. Unusual. Let's Something go. On here. Okay. Temperature Maybe I should stand over here. Paranormal. Let's see if we can get this is there answer anyone again. anyone here who would like to speak with This me? is the answer we got before. So we once again have all the thermo, all the EMF. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Fuck you! <laughs> I was hoping we'd get that one. Want is to there speak? anything you'd like to What did to I do me? before streaming? I used to be a teaching assistant for three years in university. Probably the best job... I mean, the, my first job like was help. just working in a supermarket for three years, which we have all had those. Luckily, I worked after closing time, which was fucking... Do you know why I'm here? <laughs> Amazing. I never had to deal with annoying-ass customers. Other than I me. deal with annoying Twitch chatters. Yeah, maybe it would have been nice if I worked in the, during opening hours so I could have prepared myself for the rest of my life. <laughs> Do you like the current family living here? I mean, I did work a few times here and there because, like, I don't know if it works the same for you guys, but the way that the, um, the way that supermarkets work is that you can take off at any time as long as you find your own replacement. So there was, like, this whole culture of, like, people helping each other out. If you needed a day off, you could help, you could, like... Uh, exchange time so you could someone else would take your hours and then someone and you would take their hours on a different day if you like randomly needed like for whatever reason uh but obviously if you told them like two months beforehand then the manager would have to figure it out like there were different ways of taking free time like if you had a very short no oh excuse me oh my god sick what the hell is this? It's a fucking demon! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm dying.
Excuse me. Holy shit. What was that? <laughs> Jesus. I got killed. Well, not really. Hopefully. Am I alive? Help. That was crazy. <sighs> That's a worst game of tag ever. I thought you, I thought you were going to flame the game. Excuse me. Okay. Wait. So that means now that my Looks yeah. like the batteries are dead. So what happens in this game if you get caught by only a demon? So that is a confirmation that this is in fact a demon because no other ghost could knock you out like that. Um that looked like freaking Lisa on crack. Uh, if you get knocked out by a demon, you get stunned for a while and your battery uh, <laughs> gets drained all the way. So now we're going to have to quickly leave. Not not because I'm scared, just because I want to get my battery back. We're going to have to quickly leave and refill the battery. And I also drop my items over here just so I can quickly uh, get the other tools as well. And then I want more of that. What the hell was that? That was so cool. <laughs> Oh, wait, I did get a photo. Wait a minute. Incredible. I captured a ghost on Are film. you sure about that? Oh, there it is. Wait, no, you are sure about that. Holy shit, look at that. Wait, it was standing up before. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, this stuff you only can capture with the freaking the auto cam because it's standing up right now. It's walking around. And then as soon as it got line of sight of me, it went into crawling mode. And then it started sprinting after me. Dude, look at that. We got a full action shot of the situation. That's so cool. All right, so we're going to replace this one. Try to get another shot like that. Damn, that's awesome. Okay, here we go. We got our battery back. And we also have a dots projector, which I don't really know if it's going to do much. But it looks pretty sick in the cave, especially. Look at that. Uh, and we got a paramic, which will be nice to capture some audio. But first... We got some talking to do. We got to talk, talk a little bit with this ghost because I don't know what's going on here, but you're pretty crazy. Let's uh, first use this thing. I What happened there was really strange. During the... Uh-oh. 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 That's exactly what I was going to talk about. What the fuck? During the attack... It just randomly talked on the spirit box, like, without me asking a question. What the hell is that? That's very interesting. Does it work the same way with this machine? It's just, it's just playing music, it's fine. Let's see, anyone is here? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? I'm a little scared. <laughs> I'm a little spooked. So it said yell and it said sick. Sick. What okay. could We need to figure out the story of this ghost because we're gonna have to Oh god, I clicked off the screen. We're gonna have to like exercise this ghost in the near future when they add demon or exorcisms for demons. So we need to learn more about this ghost. How many people are here other than There's me? gonna be a lot of people, huh? A lot of dead people. I want to kind of step backwards. So, like, I want to have a distance with the ghosts when they do their attack. So we get to see them a little better rather than, like, so up close as, as what was happening there. There's so many ghosts we can exercise, by the way. We can do Pierre as well. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? It's the exact same wow. text. Okay. That sounded like a response. Oh, look at that. What the hell? That very interesting. It is truly a siren. <laughs> Damn. Is there anything nice. you'd like to tell me? Okay, it's definitely Russian. Uh, it what popped up that? for a second. I I captured it with a oh, there we go. Wait, that was two different ones? It was two overlapping sounds? What the hell? Okay. Any any uh, Russian speakers in the chat? I do not know what they're saying. <laughs> okay, so it's a Russian siren demon that has been so that had that was summoned here for some reason, and it was found by Aaron, and then Aaron got like enthralled by the demon and started doing their bidding by getting people. Like, finding people and then bringing them over here. Which also, strangely, 
in the story, there was this one detail where, um, I forgot the exact wording of it, but Aaron... Excuse me? <laughs> that was a very unusual noise. <laughs> Definitely an unusual that. noise. In the, uh, like, lore the, the on the wiki, it said that Aaron, when they got arrested... Oh, the stream went down? Whoopsie daisy. I'm just talking to the... <laughs> I want to... I want to continue my train of thought here, but I have to wait for Twitch to come back. I don't know what's going on with Twitch over here. I'm sorry, YouTube. Um, I'll just say it now and then I'll repeat it for Twitch as well in a second. Uh, but in the notes on the wiki, it said that the that Aaron did not remember actually hurting the people that he killed, which is... I thought, like, he was just trying to do an insanity plea, but no, it might actually be true. Maybe he just fed them to the demon, and then the demon did whatever with them. Oh, there we go, we're back. <laughs> we're back. Uh, so everyone's gonna be like, refresh, refresh, we're back. <clears throat> the siren broke the stream. Okay, uh, I'm trying to- Last week I pinned, thank you, thank you. Um, I was just explaining to YouTube, because they were the only ones here, that uh in the notes on the wiki there's something really significant that i overlooked and didn't think was important until now in the wiki it said that aaron didn't remember killing any of the people like hurting any of the people that he was responsible for killing which might actually be excuse me which might actually be true. Like maybe he voice. never killed them. Maybe he brought them to this cave and then he fed them to the demon and the demon mutilated and killed them. Because they said that the bones were the only thing that were found in the cave and everything else was like ground up and like disappeared. So maybe it got like taken to the shadow realms or something. I don't know. That is such an interesting thing that I completely like disregarded when I first read it. But it's actually like so significant now knowing more about the story. Damn, that's pretty fucked up. So that might mean... Aaron actually didn't kill anyone like Aaron was I think Aaron got the death penalty I mean obviously he was responsible in a way but I think he just got used by the demon to kill people which is actually a miracle that there hasn't been like any murder since that's kind of crazy because since the lipstick killer it's been it's been pretty quiet over here but yeah what a wild story and we're finding a lot we're finding lots of uh Lore here as well. We might have. Oh. I need someone to translate all this stuff. Dude, we're almost That's done with this. Audio That's evidence. crazy. We're gonna 100% this ghost. I'm I'm calling it. We're gonna 100% this ghost. Um. And then once they add the exorcism update, we're gonna go absolutely crazy. We're gonna be able to exorcise all the different demons. Oslan, thank you for the sub as well. Sorry, you don't speak demon. It's not. It's not Russian. Oh, it's not Russian. Okay. <laughs> It sounds Russian to me. Just Jared, thank you for the 50. It's gibberish. Is it gibberish Russian or? It's Latin? My Latin isn't this advanced. It's Latin? Okay. Uh, can anyone speak Latin? <laughs> can we get some translators on the case? Doesn't sound Slavic at all. Kind of the, pr the pronunciation did to me personally, but I maybe, I mean, I'm just a, I'm just an idiot. So that, that mean that could explain that. Uh, okay, so what are we doing here? We got I've obtained a profound amount of audio evidence that cannot be explained Including an EVP the EVP clearly sounds like a voice responding to my question So we got like so many st things already. We are just missing like two more audio things and You die in this game. You can get knocked out, but you can't get killed Because that would be I mean with demons I can see it be possible, but that would also kind of like, this game doesn't have any, like, oh, you die, you come back. Like, Conrad's an actual person, right? If Conrad dies, then the whole immersion... Like, they have to do, like, a... Snake! Conrad! 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 And then, like, retry. <laughs> like, they have to do a freaking <laughs> retry window, which would be kind of silly. There we go, another one. Was that a new one? 
That wasn't you one look that, that? one Glad more one more and we got a hundred percent on this ghost and then we can replay them in the office and then maybe someone will be able to translate because <laughs> I don't think I can. I don't know I don't know how the pair mic works. Like do I have to stand <laughs> 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 That's terrifying! <laughs> that scared the shit out of me, man. Oh, goodness gracious. What the fuck was that, <laughs> dude? That was wild. That was really cool, though. Well, I think I can leave this off the report. <laughs> leave. Does that mean my paramic is dead now? No, my paramic is dead. God damn it. Like I'm, batteries are dead. I'm not that easily thwarted. Demon, I will get your last evidence. We're gonna have to quickly get more batteries. I need to see the demon while they're standing up too. Like I've only seen the demon when they're already like in attack mode. I wanna see like their wind up. Here we go again. The, the camera didn't catch anything that time. What the hell? Didn't it run past here? I swear it ran over here, but I guess it needs to be like inside of its view cone. Uh, we also got our batteries back, so you're not gonna escape it. You need to tell us the final evidence. And I really want to see... I mean, if you can attack us again, that, that would be amazing. We should stand somewhere back. Is that the last one? No, not the last Ooh, one. That is okay. Scary audio we should evidence. stand somewhere back here because then if it walks towards us, we're going to see it in its stand-up form. I really want to see it stand up. Because we haven't seen that yet. We only saw it on the, like, auto cam really far away. And it's the next Ghost Exile stream coming. Is we already played it like two like days ago. We played it very Is there recently. Anything you'd like to tell me? Come on, give me some. An entire yeah, it was the full stream of like Ghost Exile. Me? No half stream bullshit. <laughs> oh wow. That's Look at that! There you go! We did it! Nice! I was not expecting that. I did not hear anything once again. But good stuff. We got... What was that? Was that for... Is there anyone who wants to speak with me? We have all the evidence. How insane. <laughs> that was amazing. We got attacked twice. We almost died. And uh, we 100 percent of the investigation. Which means that next time when they add the exorcism for the demons, which might take a little bit more work because they're ha gonna have to make a whole exorcism ritual, we're gonna be able to finally, once and for all, get rid of this ghost. But I think, I mean, we've done a completely full investigation. I think we're gonna have to uh, get out of here for now and then check all the audio in the, in the computer, even though we're probably not gonna be able to... <laughs> to tell any like what it actually means but maybe someone can translate it wait we didn't get a full investigation because we man we got so much audio what do you mean wait we literally captured every single wait we caught every single bit of audio this game how is that on a full investigation we literally 100 percent of this ghost during this single investigation oh it resets after you get killed okay yes it resets after you get killed i remember now okay that explains it <laughs> you forget stuff when you get knocked out uh to give some kind of punishment for that but anyway uh let's go we did a full 100 percent investigation on this ghost which is we have there's still uh and look at that look at that ghost model that is it and then we're gonna do an exorcism here once that launches and then there's the poltergeist we still have to finish and there is the other new ghost which i only did a like very short investigation on because i just couldn't find the location where this ghost was but like we are two ghosts away from 100 percenting the whole lighthouse map that is actually crazy uh but yeah anyway let's uh listen to the audio because even though we're not going to know anything about it uh we're gonna have to qu give it a quick quick peek uh shadow aura thank you for the five gifts of some razor thank you for the eight months as well thank you okay uh Bar harbor lighthouse the Rosalka. I'm gonna turn it all the way up to max. <laughs> am I the only one who finds that there's a slight Russian accent, or am I just crazy? Maybe I'm crazy. 
Aperitzi o facta est in labor. Aperitzi o facta est in labor. It's that, is it backwards? I can't play it backwards. Aperitzi o facta est in labor. I don't know what it says. I can't play it backwards. Ensenetto. Ensenetto. That's absolutely. It's not Russian. Maybe it's just gibberish. Does anyone do it, dude? How many different countries do we have in this chat? Anyone? <laughs> Does anyone fucking understand this gibberish? Any language? Does this sound like any language? <laughs> It really is Latin? God damn it. Does no one speak Latin? Faccio amica mea. Friendly Mango, thank you for the five. Si, si, Maybe it is just Klingon or something. <laughs> it's just some fantasy language. <laughs> 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 what the fuck, dude? <laughs> it's insanely cursed, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, so wait a minute. I need to double check. I need to double check. Let's see. Bar Harbor Lighthouse over here in the lipstick killer fragment here. Aaron Lehman was arrested in 19... Let's just read it all. I'll read it all just so we you get the full picture here. In the spring of 1974, a local teen couple was reported missing. A few months later, another co couple was reported missing. After the third couple was reported missing, the Coast Guard and law enforcement, along with the rest of the community, started to believe something sinister was going on. Over the year, panic increased significantly as more teenage couples went missing. It wasn't too long before authorities found male victims in the barn mutilated and buried in shallow graves. Okay, so they were buried. Uh, all murdered males were positioned and disfigured in a consistent fashion. They were bound and cut on the inner arms and thighs in a fashion resulting in the bl victim bleeding out slowly over a 10-minute period. Duh. Additionally, the males all had makeup applied to their face. This is where the name the lipstick killer was derived. It was determined that all female victims' clothes were discarded in the same pile within a cave along the shore. The cause of death could not be immediately determined due to the state of their remains. Only bones remained for all female victims and were found scattered about near the pile of clothing. After a coroner's review, it was determined that the bones were bludgeoned into smaller pieces by a small spike, although the exact tool was never determined or found. It was also determined that the bones were then soaked in HCL in an attempt to dissolve them. For whatever reason, all the bones were only partially dissolved. It was assumed that the perpetrator rushed to clean up their mess and figured the partially dissolved bones would yield no meaningful evidence. Aaron Lehman was arrested in 1975 for the murder of Benny James. Claire, Claire Hill, who was Benny's girlfriend, managed to escape half-clothed while Benny was being tortured. He was the final victim of the lipstick killer. Thanks to Claire's ability to escape and inform authorities, Claire was also instrumental, or Claire was also instrumental during the trial. She was able to identify Aaron Lehman as her boyfriend's killer and provided details about Benny being tortured and ultimately murdered. These details were consistent with police investigation. In total, 13 teens were murdered over a three-year period. Aaron Lehman's defense lawyer tried an insanity plea. Part of their strategy consisted of outlining the voices Aaron consistently heard in his head. He stated a female voice was consistently in his head and forced evil thoughts onto him. He also stated that during these ritualistic murders, he would go into a trance after disrobing the female victims and black out, not remember killing them. So this is what I was talking about. And I was just talking about, I, I was just, when I first read this, I was just like, 
Fucking nice try, idiot. <laughs> but now it might actually... Like, maybe he was just completely, like... He blacked out because he was completely taken over by the demon. And then the demon did the rest of the killing. Um, additionally, he had no recollection of what happened to them after that. He stated he had no idea how the victim's bones were crushed or partially dissolved. He was found guilty and sentenced to death. He was executed in 1980 at New Eidolon State Penitentiary. Since 1980, there has been approximately one teenage couple per year that has allegedly gone to Bar Harbor Lighthouse and disappeared. I didn't remember this. Their clothes are usually found, but their bodies are never recovered. It is believed these individuals decided to swim and were dragged out at sea. I don't think so. I think we found the culprit. Man, that story is so crazy, dude. Holy shit. So yeah, there you go. That is the full story of the Lipsy Killer and the demon who possessed him. Wow, what an what an incredible story. Definitely my favorite ghost in the entire game. My other favorite ghost combo is the Jefferson Street House family, which I really like this one because there's this demon, right? The demon has been possessing the house for generations, and every time it would possess one of the members of the family and then make them, like, murder the entire family. So what you see right here is this demon that who possessed Rhonda right here, who then killed this person. So they're all, like, really interconnected, which is, like, the... As we were uncovering that, we had, like, so many, like, holy shit, this is crazy moments. Like, your mind's just blown because the story all fits together all of a sudden. Like, it is a true detective game, man. So cool. And it is, like, coming to an absolute awesome conclusion here with all of these, like... The release system is so cool. Like, I, I'm enjoying it immensely. So, yeah. Anyway, in the next episode... We're gonna check out the release part of this update because uh, they didn't just add a new ghost to the Bar Harbor Lighthouse, but they also added the release system for intelligent ghosts, which means that we will be able to uh, release this ghost right here, this ghost. We will be able to go to the church map and release uh, Pierre over here. Like, we're gonna be able to do all kinds of stuff. We'll do that in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you thought. I hope you enjoyed. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you liked the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash insane. I'll click the link in the description down below. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Wait a minute. Little bonus at the end here. We didn't realize, but the dev actually send us the translations right here. So we have, I'll give you the translation. When you are on the PC listening to the line, I can let you know the English. When the demon knocks you out, you forget a piece of evidence. Okay, yeah, here we go. Uh, let, let's, let's put them side by side and I'll read out what they mean. Wait a minute. This is huge. This is huge. Uh, so we got the first one. Uh, play it. Come on. It is... My flesh is old and brittle. Okay, my flesh is old and brittle. Then we have... Uh, an appearance, an appearance made to trouble. And then the fourth one, wait, the third one is not on here, but the fourth one is, I gain much power. I gain much power. The fifth one, and become my, wait, and my beauty becomes far more subtle. Interesting. I think. And the name on the player is what uh, Conrad thinks the ghost should be named. So not necessarily the actual demon name. Okay, but there's still a lot of... Uh, there's still a lot of things that we don't know about. I'm Italian. It's not Italian. Stop, please. <laughs> okay, anyway, that was a little extra bonus there. So it, it's the it's the demon basically talking about, uh, like, they're, 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 they're a siren, right? They're, they have their actual flash is old and brittle, but they are... Uh, they, they can become, they can change their appearance to, to become more, more beautiful and influence people and stuff like that. Uh, very cool. Thank you. Thank you, Dev.